back to down the rabbit hole. We are on episode 44. Um, so before I go any further, please hit that like button and ring that bell for notifications. Also, please subscribe. Now, for all my followers out there, if I hit a hundred subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway, and one of you will receive a prize for my mer- uh, some sort of gift from my merch shop. Now, if you're interested, but please, guys, help a girl out. Anyway, but today, we are going to be talking about the petrified forest. Now, here's the question. Would you stay here? So, here's the thing we gotta remember. This is a forest in Utah, and it's one of the most beautiful state parks in the U.S. But like many beautiful places, this actually has a sinister urban myth. And people believe if you leave this petrified forest with a piece of the petrified wood, you'll be cursed with bad luck for the rest of your life. While there is no proof of the legend is true or not, there is many advisements to leave the petrified wood behind if you visit the park. Take your risk, but I'm not, I wouldn't have that bad luck following me the rest of my life. But some of you might say, oh, well, bad luck follows me wherever I go, so. But anyway. Now, what is the Petrified Word Course? Well, Petrified resides in a class of quirky words with the pepper of the English language. Two wildly different meanings are attached to the word. Um, science uses it as a descriptor for the organic matter in the turns of the stone. During the fossilization process, a second definition turns to the Petrified with using the synonym of terrified, describing the person so scared and unable to move. Now, one Utah-based um, urban legend combines the science and terror of these components. It's bad enough that Utah has um, many as cults, um, or I can't say cults, um, religious sects. But we know, we know. But anyway, they also have underage marriage, which is I find ridiculous. Um, but, yeah, we're not going to get into my thoughts on that one. But, the Escalante Petrified Forest Day Park is a ground zero for extreme bad luck. And the ancient trees are fun to check out if you take a day trip to this part of Utah. And local legends also warn the remnants for millions of years. Um, years can be half carbringers or dooms of... Hapless souvenir seekers. Now, is this pure bad luck? Well, it's a popular destination for hiking and camping. Visitors can also enjoy kayaking, canoe, and paddleboarding along with the shores of Wild Hollow Reserve Reservoir and Park. There are tons of fun things to do there if you are an outdoor person. The fun is if you take a piece of the woods from the forest and it isn't harmless, a harmless souvenir, according to legend. The curse on the park states anyone who steals from the wood will be a magnet for bad luck, and they will experience nothing but misfortune for the rest of their life until they break the curse by returning the petrified wood to the um, to um its homes. So. What forum does um, this street take? Well, everything from public embarrassment to serious accidents to Ill- and illnesses. And the course is powerful enough to know no boundaries in punishing souvenir seekers. So, a testament of the petrified word curse can be found in the park's visitor center and letters from dozens of the past state park visitors chronicle bouts and bad luck after filtering samples from the petrified forest. And some letter writers claim that their luck only turned good as soon as they returned to the petrified wood where they found it. So, and other visitors take a step further and mail packages of stolen petrified wood to the state park. Some return samples weighed as much as 30 pounds and were mailed to Utah from all over the world. Anywhere from about 6 to 12 such packages were sh- are shipped to the state park each year. 
Now, one letter accompanying the return piece of Petrify would be telling how he suffered many multiple broken bones, a fire in his motorhome, and a car engine failure after the warranty expired in the span of a single year. Now, what is the origin for this car as well? So there is no solid evidence that does exist, but when the stories of the curse of the petrified state first started, it was dated back to the 1930s, give or take. And it appears a curse isn't limited to the state park in Garfield County. In fact, Arizona law carries details of similar curse inflicted in petrified wood thief. A bit of modern folklore even serves as a singular purpose for deterring people from stealing. And the folklore war thieves that meet, met with their misfortune and isn't uncommon since there are three types of stories, often double as cautionary tales, against dishonesty. Superstitious aside, the petrified wood thieves do not do risk suffering one specific real war consequence. If they are caught in the act, they can expect to pay a stiff fine since it is against Utah state law to steal the petrified wood from the Escalante Petrified State Forest. So, that is it for this episode. Um, what do y'all think? Do y'all believe this to be true? Um, I am very curious. Um, like I said, no, like, I believe it in a way, but I'm also, like, I wouldn't say I'm super superstitious. At the same time, I wouldn't say I'm not. But I'm from the South, so I was raised, like, with the Bible Belt beliefs and all of that. But anyway... That is it for this episode. Um, join me next time as we talk about blood money for Sadie Baker. And then we're going to talk about the Denver State Mental Hospital. Then we're going to go on to the Tins Gray Court Castle. And then we're going to talk about a state in Liberty Independence and Liberty, New Jersey. Probably just mix those two names up, but come on. It's New Jersey. It's the Armpit of America.